Hi there, my name is Jürgen Hörlan and in this tutorial I want to show you how to speed UV mapping. Yeah, I said speed UV mapping. And this is my preferred workflow for UV mapping. Uh, everybody hates UV mapping, but it's, it's so many times you, you just need to do it. And especially for uh, us who use Arnold Render, you need to use the UV mapping often for getting the correct type of displacement. So let's go. Um, first off, we need to prepare the layout. And the reason why you can always change to the UV edit, but you don't, it takes too long. And if you have to go back and forth and have to test the scene and see how the renders, and I, yeah, I like to have everything ready in the scene. So um, first off, I'm just gonna do this as a clean startup. And um, what I like to do is go to the window, go into the body paint 3D down here, and I need to see how the uh, UV maps are looking. So if I press that one, I got a new texture window. I dock that underneath the attributes, and uh, then I need two buttons. The two buttons you can pick up from the customized palettes over here. I just uh, search for UV and I found find the UV manager and I also need the UV polygons. And then I'm sort of ready to uh, UV map this. So and um, uh, I need a checkerboard uh, texture. Just double click in the texture menu, go into a texture, go into the surfaces and checkerboards and 10 by 10 is uh, fine. And then I add it to the mesh. So you see that these poly meshes don't have any um, any uh, UV maps at all, and also they are triangulized. So first I want to fix the triangulation, and they are also, yeah, they are inverted normals. The normals directions is really, it has to be correct. So if you see it blue at any point, uh, that's a horrible normal. So to change, to fix that, I just go into the menu and hit reverse normal and then it's fixed. So easy to fix but so uh, easy to miss also. And then to fix the triangulation, this is really easy on this model. If uh, you have a more curved model, um, it will be, yeah, it will be so much harder to get this correct but since this is really square and easy angles, I can use the untriangulized and I, if I hit the uh, small um, gear button over here I can rise the angle and see how it looks. It works for most cases but not here. So uh, let's do the, uh, do the thing on what's working. Oh, of course uh, this was no problem. And these one don't really need to be untriangulized, but uh, could be fine. And how to fix this one? Um, I guess trying to another angle just to see if uh, it's uh, become better. So yeah, just need to find the right spot. Yeah. Okay. Let's back and forth. <clears throat> yeah, that's okay. This is horrible. You see that? The, um, this is really a uh, um, flipped normal also. So if I go into the polygon pen, I can hold command and drag that over there. Now that is fixed. Just checking the model. Every angle. Yeah, uh, the same place. Yeah, like that. Fixed. We need to fix the uh, the 
UV mapping anyway, so yeah. Why not just clean up the model? And then we can go into the UV tags and set from the projection. And you see, that, okay, the board could work, but it's stretched and the sides here are all messed up just because they are given some weird values. But we're gonna fix that pretty fast. So if we select the mesh we want to fix, go down, then into the UV manager and for and I have to add that to the texture menu that I put out there. Uh, for this one the best uh, and easiest way to uh, wrap, unwrap this is by hitting box. Box is super cool and uh, it keeps and the um, the difference between cube, cube 2 and box is that box is keeping more or less the angles correctly and doesn't stretch stuff. But it looks, it doesn't look totally correct. So then I go into the optimal mapping. And here is, I guess that you start at the optimal cubic, but let's skip that one. I go into the real line. And I hit off the preserve orientation. Or, okay, in this case, I'm gonna keep the preserve orientation. Don't stretch to fit, then you're stretching the UV map again. And equalize the uh, island size is, is just to have some spacing between the different forms. So if I then hit apply, I, everything is, the, is then. Um, moved and scaled up and we have we got going to get more details into the form and you can also if you want to if you see that ah the, the first one did, didn't really hit it hit the mark so then you can hit apply again and then um, everything will uh, will um, uh, scale up or change a little bit if you have uh, the preserve orientation off you can also use that one to change the different um, change the direction, and I, I, I'm gonna show that on our model. model. <clears throat> but uh, then we have the next one on the list. Uh, every, have everything selected, and using the projection box, and I go into the real line again and hit that button. And then I go into the last one. These are the small. Um, and nuts here and um, I can try to use the box but I guess uh, that will yeah that will leave it uh, okay um, it is cylindrical but I don't ah, it doesn't really matter and as long as you get the front faces really good um, you it will work fine and also if if it's really important that you have this uh, this edge over here if that has to be uh, rounded you can go into the one of the right projections here and hit frontal what is do is just taking that frontal position and uh, mapping that onto the object and then I can hit the uh, realign again you see everything here has its own uh, front face now and the angles it has some of the edge angles here and also this uh, it's really smart to have every uh, every uv on the model so more or less the same size so now this has too much detail and then i go into transform here hit the scale and just scale this up till it more or less do the trick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was the first UV mapping, the UV unwrapping. Um, let's look at the next model. For the next model, um, this has some really strange UV mapping already on it. You can try to use the same techniques here trying to use a box for instance it's 
looks okay for now but you see on the edges it doesn't really work and um, you will get some weird themes let's uh, try to you unwrap this first off I need to find a place where I can put in my theme I'm using the uh, loop selection and try to find a place where it will go around seems like it's hitting some strange uh, modeling over here with some angles I need to remove those angles but I will try to uh, get more or less everything ready oh, shit that line didn't go let's try the next one uh, that seems to go around the whole model and it's on a place where not many people uh, is going to look so the reason why you are selecting the edges is uh, because it's where you gonna cut the model yeah and then uh, try to find some other place this seems to be one uh, form one mesh and I can try to hit that one yeah let's try that one how does it look like first I hit frontal and uh, the frontal projection looks really weird from some angles so I go into the relax UV and uh, if you I don't remember how this looks uh, from from the fabric settings but uh, I think pin border points are on but I want to pin to neighbors on so I hit that off and this on pinned point selection I don't really use that one that much because I used up the optimal mapping afterwards and um, to pin this one is always hard it's trying to set uh, set the UV in in a direction and that uh, yeah anyways I don't use it uh, cutting selected edges are great that has to be on because then it will uh, use the edges I uh, just uh, selected and um, I use the LSCM algorithm mostly and yeah it gives me fast results so apply that here's the problem with the UV mapping that is off and it seems to be off over here yeah uh, when I got this uh, message uh, it also do the selection for me yeah I think I'm just gonna hit delete this is uh, typical uh, for uh, stuff we do in 3D not everything works as planned yeah then I hopefully fixed the points over there and then hit apply and I go into the optimal mapping and hit realign hit off preserve orientation and then we have a share that it's uh, yeah, pretty good uh, UV mapping pretty speedy and then we have the other parts here um, for this one uh, that's this small uh, things uh, under here they are looking strange so try to use box on that one and uh, hit off preserve orientation next that looks horrible and uh, that's uh, I guess this will go that button go that well so let's try it from from the top view do a frontal and it's wrapping around the form so let's try that that could work could be cool to have uh, like a uh, metal uh, texture that has uh, some 
angles over here but uh, and could be looking strange just gonna test this afterwards um, yeah and then we have the last one are these handles over here and uh, let's oh shit here is also angles man remove the angles and um, then I need to find place where this is uh, ready for unwrapping uh, try to hide it a little bit more um, so yeah it goes around there mm. let's do it on the inside because uh, I guess you don't want to see the inside that much this really depends on uh, where you're going to use it okay yeah yeah trying to wing it you know doing it putting it on the inside and let's um, I guess we have need to cut it um, in some weird angles Let's do the um, try to find the uh, edges. Small screen this, especially when I have it in the small window also. Okay, loop selection. No. Uh, okay. Messing around in. Uh, Cinema 4D. Okay, let's try this one. You can also always go back and fix it in post. Uh, not really. You can always go back and uh, fix it. Yeah, that didn't really work. You see that? This is going to give us some strange angles. So I guess I'm gonna cut it over here and cut it over here and also do another cut on that angle do another cut on that angle no that angle and let's try again hit the throttle hit the relax uh, scale it up again and uh, yeah the most important part is uh, this is pointing out and um, maybe yeah that's why we put it this in I really like to find where the problems are by using the, um, the UV polygons and then you can select the polygons so I guess if I also cut this part so um, maybe over here then this will loosen up a little bit so let's include try to oh, it's not always that easy and yeah There it is. And try again. And of course, you need to select everything, or else it's just the small part that you don't, you didn't uh, select, uh, that you did select, that are fixed. Let's try this again. This part wouldn't look totally 100%, but it's okay. Okay, so now we have good enough wrap of course again this is speed unwrapping so um, this is just going to be looking good enough it's not perfect it's good enough and let's look at the checkerboards again trying to scale yeah this part has to be a little, a little bit larger and uh, this part has to be uh, scaled 
so it fits the other parts of the model and yeah um, uh, I guess the foot here is not that great again I think I just have going to select that one and try to cylinder at it yeah that works S same with these parts and that looks correct and these nuts can be uh, yeah the frontal can work for those ah uh, that's also <laughs> strange strange model this but uh, this is uh, pretty usual for us uh, trying to fix stuff so yeah it's trying to get used to strange strange things it's not perfect it's okay uh, it's good enough yeah so that's speed uv unwrapping for you and um, hopefully you uh, got some new tips and new tricks from this one uh, it, it's not perfect you can spend a lot more time making it perfect but it makes the job everything uh, looks convincing and uh, isn't that the goal in the end so uh, good luck and uh, goodbye.